Most couples want to build wealth, but few know where to start. In less than 10 minutes, I'll be sharing with you actionable, faith-based steps that would help you and your partner create a financial life that you'd absolutely love. Building wealth as a couple can feel overwhelming, but it doesn't have to be. Today, we are going to dive into practical and faith-based strategies to help you and your partner grow together financially, spiritually, and emotionally. I promise you that these tips are simple, relatable, and achievable in today's world. The first step in wealth building is to get on the same page financially. Discuss your financial goals openly and prayerfully. The Bible tells us in Matthew chapter 18 verse 19, if two of you on earth agree about anything they ask for, it will be done unto them by my Father in heaven. This underscores the power of faith and unity. Whether it's buying a home, saving for your children's education, or planning your retirement, agreeing on your goals will help you work towards them with a shared vision. Research shows that couples who set financial goals together are more likely to achieve them. So make time to have these conversations and revisit them regularly. Next, let's talk about budgeting. A budget is your financial roadmap. It's not just about restricting spending, but about being intentional with your resources. Proverbs chapter 21 verse 5 says, The plans of the diligent leads to profit as surely as haste leads to poverty. List all your income and expenses and prioritize giving, saving, and investing. Remember, it's important to live within your means. Avoid the temptation to compare your lifestyle with others. Instead, focus on what truly matters. According to a 2020 study by Ramsey Solution, 93% of millionaires say they live on less than they make, a habit that starts with budgeting. Malachi 3.10 reminds us, bring the whole tithe into the storehouse that there may be food in my house. Test me with this, says the Almighty, and see if I will not throw open the floodgates of heaven and pour out so much blessing that there will not be room to store it. Tithing or giving 10% of your income is a fundamental principle in the Christian faith. It is an act of obedience and trust in God's provision. In addition to tithing, consider giving generously your time and your resources. Studies show that generous people tend to be happier and more fulfilled. Plus, giving opens the door for God's blessings in your life. Luke 6, 38 says, Give and it shall be given unto you. A good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over will be poured into your lap. While giving is essential, so is saving and investing. Proverbs 21, 20 says, The wise store up choice foods and olive oil, but the fools gulps theirs down. Start by building an emergency fund with at least three to six months worth of expenses. This will protect you against unexpected financial hardships. Once your emergency funding is in place, look into investing. Compound interest is powerful. The earlier you start, the more you can grow your wealth over time. Consider retirement accounts, especially if your employer offers matching contributions. This is essentially free money. Proverbs 31.11 also teaches, Dishonest money dwindles away, but whoever gathers money little by little makes it grow. One of the biggest challenges in any marriage is communication, especially about money. Be transparent with each other. Ephesians chapter 4 verse 25 reminds us, Therefore each of you must put off falsehood and speak truthfully to your neighbor, for we are all members of one body. Share your financial struggles and successes and work together to solve problems. Avoid keeping secrets about spending or debt as this can erode trust. Regularly pray about your finances. Ask God for wisdom, guidance, and unity in your finances. Couple who pray together find that they are more in sync and better equipped to handle financial stress. Finally, plan for the future. Proverbs 16.3 advices commit to the lord whatever you do and it would establish your plans these include planning for your children's education your retirement and even creating a will to protect your loved ones seek professional advice when needed and always always keep your long-term goals in mind remember the future is uncertain but when you plan and trust in god you can face it with confidence and peace as we wrap up let's take a moment to pray Heavenly Father, we thank you for the gift of partnership and the opportunity to build a future together. 
Please grant us wisdom in our financial decisions, unity in our goals, and faith to trust in your provisions. Help us to honor you with our resources and be a blessing to others. Amen. I hope you realize that building wealth is not just about accumulating money. It's about creating a life that reflects God's blessing and purpose. Thank you for watching and I hope that these strategies inspire you to take the next step in your financial journey as a couple. If you found this video helpful, please like, share and subscribe to my channel for more faith-based content. You know I like to share the word of God with you. So this week I'm leaving you with this word from the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 4 from verse 9 to 10. And it says, Two are better than one because they have a good return for their labor. If either of them falls down, one can help the other up. But pity anyone who falls and has no one to help them up. This verse highlights the importance of partnership and mutual support, emphasizing how working together can lead to greater successes and stability, both in finance and in life. Until next time, stay blessed and stay united.